What's up everyone for the win attach you here you know what it is thank you very much for tuning in to today's video uh, this is battle for Azeroth this is alpha this is testing and uh, we've got two brand new allied races that just got released to the alpha servers today um, one being the dark iron dwarves and the other one being the magkar orc so without further ado in this episode as you guys can tell based off of the title already um, I'm gonna be splitting this up into two different episodes we're gonna go ahead and do the character selection screen thing uh, like we did with void elves nightborn lightforge draenei and high mountain torn uh, we're gonna do the same thing for dark iron dwarves as well as the magkar orc go ahead and see what their, um, their customizable options see what they look like go ahead and dive on into a little, a little bit of details on um, like racial abilities on what's currently going on um, but without further ado let's go ahead and do the character selection screen preview for the dark iron dwarves so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and keep it very very simple we're gonna go ahead and use the warrior on both um, the dark iron dwarves can be a warrior a paladin a hunter a rogue a priest a shaman a mage a warlock as well as a monk and uh, without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the male options here we're gonna go ahead and start off with skin color. So we got kind of a darkish feel skin color here. It's a little bit of an ashy feel. And then you can get a little bit of a light touch as well um, throughout the other options. Um, but it looks like the bottom option, there's only four options actually um, for the Dark Iron Dwarves at the moment. Um, but you have op two, uh, two dark skin colored tones as well as two light skin colored tones. Um, not too much of a difference from the dark ones, but um, they are could because they are very similar. But you do got four skin color options. Um, so with the face, as you guys know, um, when it comes to hair, facial hair on dwarves, it, it's their fam. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what type of facial options we have. So facial option 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, which isn't too bad. And if I'm going to be honest, these are very, very similar to the actual dwarf facial options at the moment. Um, hairstyles, we've got uh, quite a few hairstyles. You can go with the traditional bald. Um, you also got the long hair. They have like a little bit of a, uh, like a lava type feel on the tips of their, um, their hair, as you guys can see. They are dark iron dwarves, so they got that molten hair tip touch, which is very, very cool about these guys compared to the regular dwarves who look very, 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 very plain. So you got eight different hairstyle options. Again, his goddamn beard looks like it's ropes on fire, fam. <laughs> but they very, very cool. Very, very cool tip touch feels. Ooh, hair color can be very, very cool to play with, uh, especially when you get the um, the uh, the molten core tip feel. Let's go ahead and check these out real quick. I'm I'm, li I'm liking I'm liking the dark and the light skin co uh, uh, hair colors actually. When it comes to the reds, um, for the like the reds, it, it kind of blends in with the molten tip feel. Uh, the light color is actually very very cool. It's like the uh, the mercury white from Razor And then this looks absolutely cool as well because You can actually see the flames coming from the hair color um, With a facial hair, of course, you can go ahead and mess with that and you can get definitely different looks when it comes to uh, The molten tip feel where it comes to their hair uh, very very cool. You got seven different options from that um, These guys do have earrings to mess around with. I'm um, gonna go ahead and select none. Oh, Nose rings, not earrings, nose rings. So as you guys can, oh, there is earrings. It's just one side. I, right, I got you, I got you. So, okay, never mind, it could be earrings anyway. So there's, as you guys can see on the right eyebrow, um, there is an earring up there. And then this is the, uh, the left nostril ring. So there's a nose ring, there's an eyebrow ring, there's a left ear ring, there's the uh, nostril, double nostril ring, there's a double on the right uh, ear ring, and then there's a the blank. Pretty, pretty cool and then tattoos not too sure what we're going to expect here um, but they're mostly skull based tattoos so if you do have um, hair up there I doubt you're gonna be able to see this so ooh, full this guy basically did not have a good day his whole freaking scalp got burned <laughs> he did not have a good day so they're facial and upper tattoos so you got six different options that kind of looks like a demon hunters um, eye cover so that's basically the Dark Iron Dwarf male. As you guys can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip through um, randomized options. And we're gonna go ahead and now check out the female. So, 
skin color for the female. You've got the same skin color tones. Um, you can actually see these a little bit more visible now. Um, you've got the four skin color tones, dark, light, lighter, and a little bit of an in-between. Um, when it comes to the facial expressions, you've got um, similar facial expressions to the actual female dwarves at the moment. Um, very, very cool. Uh, you got ten options on that. Now, the ladies, or the females, do have that molten tip to their hairstyles as well, uh, as you guys can see. Very, very, ooh, that actually looks really cool. Now, I would never create a female dwarf. This is not my style. But they do got some pretty cool and interesting, uh, that, 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 now that's probably the hairstyle I would pick. Or the, no, that, that would be the hairstyle I choose. That looks absolutely freaking cool. So they have a total of 10 different hairstyles to choose from. Hair colors, very, very similar. They do got the, the bright red. They do got the whites, which I think the whites looks absolutely amazing. So they got pretty much identical uh, hair colors to the uh, male counterparts. Um, accessories, uh, not too sure how that's going to work out, but I'm assuming it's just earrings. Uh, we got the nun. Got, so where is that one popping out from? Okay, so it is a right earring. Uh, trying to figure out where this one's popping up. Another right earring solo. Left earring double. Uh, nose ring on the left nostril. Uh, we've got a uh, messing about uh, freaking right earring. And then double nostril uh, earring right there. And then when it comes to the tattoos, they are facial tattoos. I am going to go ahead and take her hair off really quick so you guys can see this. Um, so it does cover the whole scalp as you guys can see. So if you do have hair up there, that's actually very identical to the uh, the male counterparts. Yep, exactly identical to the male counterparts. So that is the Dark Iron Dwarves. I'm going to go ahead and randomize here a quick little bit for you guys to see uh, different types of options for the Dark Iron Dwarves. But that is the character selection screen. That is currently what we got. I am really, really looking forward to this. The Molten Tip fam, that's probably my favorite part. What is your favorite part down below? And uh, go ahead and post it down below if you guys got any questions. Uh, go ahead and check out the description box. Stay tuned for some more World of Warcraft Alpha content. Peace out, everybody. Catch you guys in the next one. Alrighty, guys. So before I leave you guys hanging, before I close this video, we got to go ahead and check out the Racial fam. They are actually implemented in the game at the moment on Alpha. So let's go ahead and see what we got cooking. So we got mass production increases blacksmith skill by 5 and blacksmithing speed by 25%. Makes total sense because the Dark Iron Dwarves are all known for their blacksmithing needs. Forged in Flame reduces damage taken from physical attacks by 1%. Now that also makes total sense and it is a very very cool uh, racial ability and it makes total sense because again, Forged in Flame, they are molten freaking dwarves they're dark iron dwarves they're freaking protected fam so very very cool next up dungeon delver wow indoors move four percent faster so that is also going to be very unique i'm not too sure how that is going to play in pve content uh, when it comes to dungeons and raids um or even pvp like if you go into a cave are you going to get somewhere quicker that's right now at the moment unknown but it's very very cool if that is the case because this is going to be really really good racial abilities there um next up you got two castable or usable abilities one is called the mole machine while outdoors summon a mole machine that tunnels through the earth it is nyi at the moment which is not yet implemented I have no clue where it goes but i'm going to go ahead and see if it actually pulls out the mole machine it does not and it is a 30 minute cooldown so this could be an actual um, secondary hearthstone. You never know. Could be a secondary hearthstone because it's got a 30 minute cooldown and that's the way it could probably be implemented. So, you never know. And next up, we do got Fire Blood. Removes all poison, disease, curse, magic, and bleed effects and increases your primary stat by 231 and an additional 77 for each effect removed. Maghar Orcs, your freaking. Your, your spirit racial ability just got destroyed by fire blood now let's go ahead and see what this looks like go ahead and clicky zoom in here oh my look at the molten action and yep increases primary stat by 231 and it can be increased if you're removing curses diseases poisons you got it you name it and it lasts for a total of eight seconds very very cool i'm actually really forward looking forward to uh playing this race in the game so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below
now we can finally go ahead and end this one off.